Uh, okay, first up with your brand new Terraria, you want to make sure that it's big enough to house the number of frogs that you're going to be keeping in it. Today I'm setting up an 80 by 48 by 80 centimeter tank because I have seven frogs that I need to house. Next up, you want to make sure that you've got an aquarium friendly silicon. This silicon is going to be used to glue in the glass and basically the back foam for our tank. Next up, I'm going to get a screwdriver and poke a hole into the back foam. And then I'm going to gently make sure that I can fit this plant in the back there so it's nice and firm so the frogs can't pull it out. Next what I did is I grabbed the silicon and I siliconed the back edge of the tank. Then with the silicon, I siliconed the three holes that I made at the end. And then I also siliconed the top of the foam as well, just to keep it in place. And then I kind of just smooshed it up against the tank and I braced it with a big log that I've got and I'm going to be using for the frog tank. Then with the silicon, I managed to do the left side and the right side all the way to the bottom. And then with my finger, I ran it across the side to seal it in. And I was kind of left with this. I bought a couple turtle docks and decided to silicon them in on the sides of the tank as well. On the sides, you can see the silicon on there, but on a front view, it looks really great and the frogs are going to love them and they're going to love the perch on them. Next, I added my substrate. I used artificial grass this time because it's nice and soft. I cut it and I made sure that it would fit into the tank nicely. However, I didn't stick it in. What I did was also washed it and made sure that any fragile bits of grass wouldn't come out either. So the frogs had no chance of eating them. Next, I added my pond. Now this is only temporary as I'm putting a glass divider in later with some silicon and the pebbles are also dangerous for the frogs if they ingest them. However, it still looks great and should be fine for use at the moment. Next, I added the housing that the frogs needed. I added a stick to make sure that they could climb across and I made sure it was nice and sturdy so I had no chance of falling down or falling off and hurting some of the frogs. I also added this giant log as well and made sure that was firmly in place so that the same thing couldn't happen and I couldn't hurt my frogs. And this giant hollow log as well because I know that they love to hide in them. Next, I added the artificial plants. These plants are simple and they just stick onto the glass just like you can get from most pet stores. And I added three because I didn't want to add too much into the tank as the big leaves already add enough to it. Now for the fun part. Now hopefully your frogs are happy in their new home. Unfortunately in this tutorial I forgot to add how I added the heating system and the light system inside of the tanks, but frogs generally like a 27 degrees Celsius tank with some strong humidity as well. I also agree in putting a soft UV light in there just so they don't get any possible vitamin deficiencies inside there. 